Greetings, everyone. My name is Rita Alvarez, and welcome to Rita Reads. Today, I'm going to read from the book of Mari Shuk, From Seed to Sunflower, put out by Learner Publications. Sunflowers are pretty. How do they grow? First, gardeners plant sunflower seeds. Sunflowers grow from small seeds. Gardeners plant the seeds in the spring. Sunflowers need plenty of space, water, and sunlight to grow. They grow best in moist, fertile soil. Soon, a seed starts to sprout. The moist soil softens the seed's hard shell, and soon a root and a stem grow. The stem pushes the seed up through the soil. Two small leaves break out of the shell and open. The seedling grows. About 10 days after planting, a seedling grows. Its stem grows taller and more leaves appear. The seedling's roots grow deep into the soil. The roots take in water and nutrients. The seedling becomes a young plant. The young sunflower stem grows thick and tall. It has big, wide leaves that take in the sun's energy to make food for the sunflower. Many sunflowers grow to be 10 feet. Some of them, some sunflowers I've seen, actually the ones that I grow are called organic mammoth sunflowers, and I've seen them grow to even 20 feet tall or more. The sunflower blooms. The bud opens and the sunflower blooms. Its petals uncurl and spread out. The sunflower's head can be about one foot wide. Tiny flowers called disc flowers grow in the center of the sunflower's head. Then insects pollinate the flower. Bees and other insects visit the sunflower. Pollen from the sunflower sticks to their legs. The insects spread the pollen from sunflower to sunflower. The pollen allows the sunflower to grow seeds. Finally, seeds grow. The disc flowers turn into hundreds of sunflower seeds. The seeds grow bigger and the sunflower petals dry up. The sunflower's head becomes heavy and droops toward the ground. The next year, more sunflowers can grow. People pick the sunflower seeds. They can be used for bird seed, pressed into oil, or eaten by people. You can save some seeds for next year too. Then watch them grow into new sunflowers. So some of the words and some of the terms we used in our book today are blooms. And what are blooms? Blooms open up into a flower. Bud, a flower that has not yet appeared. Fertile, fertile is good for growing plants and crops. We re remember we talked about fertile soil and we saw the deep dark soil that the sunflower seeds were planted in by the gardener. Also, we heard that our sunflowers need nutrients and nutrients are substances that plants need to stay healthy. Much like you and I, we need things called nutrients in our bodies so that we can grow strong and healthy. Pollen, a powder made by flowers that helps, make, helps them make seeds. We also heard the word pollinate. And to pollinate means to move pollen from flower to flower, which we saw the bee do by, and what do we say? The pollen attaches to the bee's legs and that bee flies from sunflower to sunflower in order to pollinate the next flower. Seedling is another term we heard, a small young plant. Seeds, small closed pods from which plants grow. And then finally, we heard the word sprout. And to sprout means to start to grow. So that's our story for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and don't forget to plant plenty of sunflowers. Bye now.